Okay, so welcome to this month's Vanners collaboration, and the subject for this month is etiquette. Right, I notice that me. <laughs> I had to look it up, but the Oxford Dictionary says it's the customary code of polite behaviour in society among members of a particular professional group. Right. Sounds a bit heavy, doesn't it? Does, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, hopefully other people can educate you uh, on what <laughs> etiquette is. Um, so, uh, do remember to watch the other uh, videos in this collaboration and there'll be a link down below in, in the video description and there'll be a little box at the end of the video so you can watch the playlist. So let's find out what etiquette is all about. Okay. I think if we all used etiquette, we wouldn't need any laws. Yeah, you're talking about it applying to motorhomes and caravans, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, Otherwise, yeah. we'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I've, yeah. got, I've got it in like five, five uh, sections here. Okay. So, I mean, the first one really is on the road. Um, you're driving a big vehicle, a motorhome or a, a car, towing a caravan. Uh, and it's about really keeping your speed down. Yeah, driving within the speed limits. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that saves fuel, doesn't it? And wear and tear. And you might actually save some lives as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the contrary to that is don't hold other <laughs> motorists up. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, I mean, if you're holding other motorists up, when it's safe to do so, let them get past. I mean, there's no point annoying other people on no, the road, is there? No, that's right. I mean, then, things like letting other drivers out when, you know, when it's safe to do so. Again, let people out of junctions. Don't hold people up. Uh, and I think this is a really good one for motorhomes and caravans. You're going to be going slower than a lot of other road users. So if there are passing places on single track roads, pull into the passing places. And for goodness sake, don't hog the middle lane of the motorway. No, no, that's right. Um, next section is really respecting people's privacy. Yeah, I mean, the classic here really is sticking to campsite paths and roads where possible. Yeah. Not taking shortcuts right across somebody's pitch in front of their door or something in case they open the door, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I find happening is we'll park in an empty car park and someone in another motor will come park right next door to you. <laughs> well, what's that all about? Yeah. Uh, you know, Respect people's privacy. Yeah, okay. you know, I think goes. There's all sorts of things you can talk about there, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have, I think, as as English people, we have a like a comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, don't don't cross that comfort zone. Also, keeping things tidy. Um, how many times you've been in a shower? And yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> often a mop and everything provided, isn't there, for you to clean the shower after you've finished yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I think it's a particular problem in ladies where, where, where people use talcum powder. I was always thinking. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I do, do remember a few occasions like that, yeah. Yeah, oh, and, and please <laughs> clean the toilet after use. <laughs> There's a brush provided for it. Yeah. It's, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so and, and um, <laughs> learn how to dispose of the toilet cassette waste correctly. I yeah. mean, this sounds obvious, but we have been places, haven't we, where people have been trying to do it on the wastewater thing. Trying or... to empty the toilet cassette down the uh, waste, uh, down the drain, I think someone was doing. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's no, really scary. It's a bit scary, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And dispose of your rubbish properly, um, you know, uh, recycling if it's available, and mm. uh, but don't, you know, just leave rubbish everywhere. It's, I mean, to me it seems all common sense really, but... Yeah, yeah. And the final section is... And this is a controversial one, isn't it? Um, we're, we all have to share a space with people, and I know it's sometimes impossible to, to keep uh, the noise of dogs down and the noise of kids down, but most campsites have a quiet time. Yeah, it's normally about 11 o'clock at night, isn't it, till yeah. 7 yeah. in the morning or yeah. whatever. Don't, don't abuse that. You, know, you might be enjoying yourself, but other people don't want to hear your tall stories at <laughs> quarter past one in the, in the morning. I'm thinking no? that time at Moffat. We had Peter, someone oh, in a car. Oh, yeah, the car next to next us. Next to us, sitting there, and they were in the car talking all night. It's, it's just not acceptable, and it's not polite. No, no. And, uh, yeah, not everyone wants to be involved in your discussion late at night. I mean, and this is when you've got to turn the music down. I mean, we once had 
<laughs> wasn't during the quiet time, but we had somebody bang on our windows, didn't we? Uh, yeah. In the women in the Starfire, yeah, because we put we, the radio on, the didn't realise it was on and you don't so loud. Know. You don't know if your no. music is going to be annoying people. You may be enjoying it, but not everyone likes your taste in music. Well, perhaps that was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I hope this hasn't been too preachy, <laughs> and uh, don't forget to watch the other video.